Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. So today we are making a wardrobe which is like the ultimate baby shower gift and we're gonna start out with a crate. So I ordered my crate from Michaels and when they delivered it, it actually had a little bit of a crack on it but we I'll show you later on in the video what I did to fix that because it was no big deal. And then I went to a local craft store and I bought these um, square shaped dowels and I got the square shaped ones because it was really really easy to put them in the corner and make sure that they stayed so that's what I did I did two longer ones and then I had a short one I also ordered a chainsaw from Amazon you can use that to cut the dowels it didn't work out for me I wound up taking mine to Lowe's but that's also an option now for this project, I just got a cheap little $2 glue gun and I got the Gorilla Glue sticks. And what I was doing is I went and lined the inside and also the bottom of the crate. And then for each dowel, I looked for the colored part because one end is going to be colored, the other end is not. So I went ahead and I put the glue on the bottom and then I used something to force it down. So that was just a, one of the... Um, one of the pieces that I had left over from the wood that I cut. So I used that and went along the whole inside and forced it down and then I also sealed it. This may be a little bit of overkill, but I'm just kind of like super OCD and I wanted to make sure that it stuck. So then I also went back on top of each piece and any exposed area, I went ahead and made sure that like I sealed it off with the glue gun. I repeated the process on both sides and for this you want to make sure that you do get the square dowels do not get the circle ones because they kind of sit awkward and to be honest I don't think that they're gonna be as secure because there's just too many gaps and spaces but when you get the square ones they fit right in the corner and it's perfect and another thing you want to do is to make sure that if there are any imperfections on the crate, like the one I told you about in the beginning, if you zoom in, you can see the top slat was kind of like cracked. But if you have any of those, you want that to go in the back of the wardrobe. So you make sure that you put your dowels in a position to where if there's anything going on with the crate that's like unfavorable, that's toward the back end. For the top dowel, you do not want it to be flush at the ends. You want a little bit of a tail on each side. So what I did was I marked the underside of the dowel with um, a marker just so I could make sure it was pretty much even on both sides. So you place that on top and then, you know, use your glue. And as long as you just like press down, it's, it's not gonna disturb the, the glue, the kind of wet glue that's at the bottom. And then of course, I went ahead and sealed that just like I did everything else. Now, as you go on further, this is gonna, you know, make all the sense in the world to have the little tips on the end. So you don't want, you don't want too much. That's why you wanna make sure that you get the sticks cut to a point where you have like maybe half an inch, at the most an inch on each end. Now, I like a little bit of variety, so this is what you see me working with now, the smaller ones. I had ordered a bundle from Amazon and it came with three inside of it. And then I also ordered, uh, when I went to Michael's to get the dowels, I saw they had bigger flowers, so I got that as well. So how you secure it is at the top, you wrap it around the dowel, and then there's this little hook of the green vine. You take off one of the flowers, put the hook inside over the little um knob that's there for the flower and then just replace the flower and that'll keep that intact from there i just wrap the garland all around and make sure it's like a loose fit it doesn't have to be perfect you're just gonna wrap it around all the way to the bottom so that it gives like really good coverage on the dowel and it doesn't look like bare
Now, the same little loop that I told you about at the top, they have at the bottom of the garland. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing I told you to do up there. So I take the flower off, I put the loop on that little knob, and then what I did was, you know, I'm a little extra. I took my hot glue gun and I just dabbed the end of it with a little bit of glue, and then I replaced the flower so that I could secure that garland and it's not going anywhere. Now the hot glue gun is definitely true to its name so be careful with your fingers. In order to like keep everything that I wanted in place in place, I took the hot glue gun and I dabbed the back of the petal, the green petal, and then used that to push it onto the wood just so it would stay in place. And that's how I'm gonna make sure that the little knob doesn't like, the flower doesn't pop off and that little green hook doesn't come off the knob. So I did that for each side and I made sure that I secured the garland on the bottom so that when I go to the next step, in case anything gets pulled off or snagged in the future, there are at least several places where the garland is anchored down. So I really like the idea of the bigger flowers accenting the box and not overwhelming it. So you can see that I'm kind of positioning where I want my flowers to be, but I'm not putting anything set in stone yet. And then to make sure that the garland is not moving, now that I kind of have a position how I want, I'm going ahead and using the hot glue to secure some of the flowers. And this is what I'm talking about, not like burning your fingers off. Just use the dowel, the same um, dowel piece, the end of it, that you use to secure the inside of the box when you were pushing it down. Just use that to push the flowers in place. And then I kind of did like an assortment. I did several, like maybe three or four big flowers on the top. What I did was I popped off the little flower and then I just put the big flower on the, on the knob that was there and then used my hot glue gun to kind of secure all of the petals and stuff. And just to add a couple more pieces, like that one isn't connected to anything, but as you can see, I put some glue on it and then just use the dowel piece to push it in place. And that's how I did the back part. So I ordered these little sparkly letters from Michaels and when it came, the box was open. Um, a few of the letters were missing. It was crazy. Make sure that you spell out everything correctly and make sure that you have enough letters. So I was gonna use like, I was gonna say something else, but I didn't have enough letters for that. So I just went ahead and they weren't even sticky. I placed them, you know, kind of like phantom placed them to make sure that everything fit and it didn't look crazy. And then I bought these little, little pieces when I went to go pick up my dowels and I just got creative with it so I put glue on each one on each letter secured that to the crate and then I put all of like the little decoration pieces that I had I found a little ballerina and in my mind I was like this is exactly what my baby's gonna look like so I think this is gonna be her I think she's gonna have brown hair and I just think that's gonna be like that's gonna be her so that goes in the middle and make sure you don't just put, put glue all over the back of it because because you don't want the glue to have nothing to latch on to so I only put the glue where the piece was going to be now do you see that top slat that's the imperfection that's the one that came cracked and then i used the gorilla glue to go ahead and seal that and how i did the back was i did like maybe the first two rows of you know of the slats I just put all my extra garland on there to kind of camouflage that mark in the back. And then I put a little little decal back there and that's that. So these are all the products that I have. I got her a baby wipe warmer because she is going to need that. I got her a multiple diapers. Like I'm not showing everything here because everything's not gonna fit inside of the crate, but these are just a couple of the items that I got her and I think they're just like so cute. So I didn't get her newborn socks because I figured my baby was going to have some big feet and I was right. I'm glad I didn't. And also I made her a blanket. Like every time I'm pregnant or like anyone close to me, like my best friend or anything has a baby, I go ahead and I crochet them blankets. So if y'all want a, a tutorial on that, let me know. I love this blanket. It was so soft, y'all. Comment down below if you have any questions about anything that I did or anything that um, I went over you don't understand or anything. Just comment down 
down below make sure you guys thumbs this video up and we will do this again next time y'all thanks